Our movie today starts with two buddies with vastly different personalities struggle to make the best of their circumstances in the Ohio hamlet of Mercer. As a result of what they discover in the woods, their lives are permanently altered. One day, Jakob is sitting at his desk drawing a two-legged robot he once spotted in the woods while everything is going according to plan and nothing out of the ordinary. A little while later, as he gets ready for school, he tries to squeeze his zit in front of the mirror. Jakob then drives his younger brother Cole to school. Cole stops moving abruptly as he tries to knot his shoelace, but as he pulls, the shoelace tears. Jakob consequently unties his shoelace before forcing his younger brother to use it. Jakob sits next to his best buddy Danny in the class. Jakob cautiously slides his paper nearer Danny while they are taking their exam so the latter may duplicate his responses. Following, the two pals work out in a gym. Jakob is lying on a workout bench and asks Danny for a little help with the bar as he struggles to lift the barbell. It is now Danny's turn, so after putting it back, he climbs up, and Jakob just stands there and observes as his friend adds additional weight plates to the bar. A short while later, they visit a park where their classmates are present. Danny hooks out with a girl called Lauren while Jakob nervously sits by himself. Suddenly, Jakob notices May, the girl he likes, standing next to him. He attempts to wave his hand to her while staring at her but is ignored. The two pals hang out in Danny's home that evening till Danny asks whether Jakob is going to ask May out. When Danny inquires as to why Jakob responded with maybe, the other man clarifies how the two of them differ and that he finds it difficult to gather the guts to approach strangers. Additionally, Danny's lack of interest in romance and dedication to his job at the Loop is revealed to Jakob, especially given that the latter is already receiving calls from the organization seeking new employees. Jakob's father, George, discusses his son's imminent graduation and job at the Loop over supper at home. Jakob's mother, Loretta, enters the discussion and inquires about the field Jakob intends to follow. Jakob admits that he enjoys drawing but is still unsure, but Loretta notes that Jakob still has time to consider his options and that his father merely sees art as a pastime. Jakob and Cole go to their rooms after supper and find both of them drawing. Jakob is forced to look at Cole's work and the older brother congratulates the younger one on improving. Cole then brushes his teeth while Jakob stays at his table and completes his sketch of May before setting his sketchbook and pencil down. The next day, when Jakob pays a visit to Danny, he is painting a barn. Then Danny stops and descends the ladder to smoke with Jakob. A short while later, the two buddies are in the midst of the woods conversing and engaging in bizarre activities like imitating bird sounds and building makeshift fences out of twigs. They pass the two-legged robot as well, but they soon come upon a round object that they mistake for a sea mine. After discovering that it is hollow, Danny implores Jakob to see inside and then persuades him once again to enter. Jakob finally gives in and enters the circular container, but shortly after, Danny awakens next to it on the ground. Oddly, he shouts for Danny and pretends to be Danny as Jakob comes out of the container. When the two of them look at one another, they discover that their bodies have switched places. Danny appears to be okay with them exchanging bodies, but Jakob begins to freak out and cries out for assistance. Until Jakob chooses to enter the water mine once more to see what happens, Danny attempts to calm him down. It doesn't take long for Danny to awaken in his natural form, and Jakob soon follows. The two pals ultimately decide to attempt exchanging bodies for a day after realizing that the sea mine won't move any place else. Jakob enters the water mine once more and switches bodies once more. The two then compete in a race to the town, with Jakob winning since he is now inhabiting Danny's fit body while Danny is in Jakob's weak one. They unintentionally cross paths with Jakob's paternal grandpa, Russ Willard, who founded the loop while they wait in front of a random business. The two youngsters are unprepared for the encounter, yet they are able to act as though nothing out of the ordinary is happening. After the two friends finally reach Jakob's home, Jakob introduces Danny to Cole, his parents, and his room. Danny is also reminded not to worry him and not to search his belongings. Jakob is simply instructed by Danny to continue painting the barn, act appropriately, go to his house to sleep, and not to worry about his sister. They then promise to reconnect the next day as they separate ways. When Lauren shows up, Jakob, who is actually Danny, goes to the barn to begin painting it. They end up kissing once Lauren leads him into the barn and no one else is around. Jakob eventually visits Danny's home and discovers his friend's parents downstairs. Danny's mother Kate asks Jakob how his day was, but Jakob barely responds briefly before heading upstairs. Jakob is admiring his freshly acquired body as he takes a shower. He is cut off when Danny's little sister enters the room, and Jakob does as he is told and just chews her out. Since Kate believes Jakob to be Danny, she approaches him while he is eating supper in the kitchen and informs him that his grades may prevent him from working at the loop in the upcoming autumn. She continues by saying that 
that he need to think about working in the quarry for his uncle Henry. Jakob returns to Danny's room after the brief supper and discovers a tarantula hiding under Danny's bedding as he gets ready for bed. He has no choice but to use Danny's notebooks to return it to the terrarium before he hears Danny's parents bickering over his friend's potential future employment prospects. In Jakob's body that night, Danny has trouble falling asleep. He then stands by the window and turns to look outside. On the grass, he spots another Jakob. The following morning, Ed, Danny's father, wakes up Jakob. Jakob and Ed are silent as they listen to the morning news on the vehicle radio on the way to school. A little while later, when they pass Danny and Cole on their way to school, Ed offers Jakob a hug as he exits the vehicle. The two pals meet together later that day and discuss their first night of trading bodies. Jakob discovers that Danny has burst the pimple on his face and that they both had quiet evenings. Then Danny reveals that he had a strange dream involving two Jakobs, adding that he was one of them and the actual Jakob was the other. They discuss exchanging bodies as well, but decide to carry it out the following day. Jakob then discusses how Danny's mother had asked him to work at the quarry and confronts Danny for making up the fact that he had been receiving calls from the Loop. His buddy argues that although he is qualified to work at the Loop, his abilities are simply ignored. Jakob is persuaded to refuse if his mother asks him about working at the quarry again by Danny, who is determined not to spend the rest of his life chopping rocks. Danny answers that he'll come up with a means to do it because Jakob anticipates him to repay the favor. All the kids in their class are concentrated on their tests, but Danny, who is Jakob in disguise, appears to know nothing. Jakob responds by giving Danny his replies in response to this. Jakob then sees Danny hanging out with May as he continues to work at the farm. Jakob follows them and when he sees the couple kissing, he feels betrayed right away. He returns to the barn in a fury and tosses the ladder away. Jakob just informs the individual staring at him that he is not himself before leaving. Later, Jakob returns to his old home while still inside Danny's body, and George answers the door when he knocks. Jakob unintentionally refers to him as dad, but he soon corrects himself and requests Jakob in order to refer to Danny. George then welcomes him inside, saying that the youngster is in his room. Jakob enters his room feeling a little uneasy, and as he waits outside the door, he hears loud rock music playing inside. Danny rises to meet Jakob as he enters his room. Danny is confronted by Jakob regarding May, and he expresses his desire to switch back. Danny explains to him in a cool manner that spending out with May is his way of saying thanks. Jakob continues to push on going back, but selfish Danny refuses. He thinks that staying in Jakob's body will provide him a better future than going back to his miserable living situation. Jakob confronts Danny after being enraged by his greed, and the two begin to fight. When Danny, who is actually Jakob, sees them fighting, George orders him to go home. Jakob leaves the chamber defeated and enters the woods, passing the two-legged robot till he comes upon the sea mine. In contrast, Danny is idly gazing at the sky in Jakob's room while being completely unconscious that Cole has been calling. Since he is unable to draw, he only informs Cole that vehicles are hard to sketch when he asks him how to draw a car. George enters their room a few seconds later to tell Ed that his kid is on the phone and wondering where he is, but all he does is shrug. Danny takes out Jakob's sketchbook after George has left. He flips over the pages and grins gently when he sees what Jakob has drawn. He eventually locates Jakob's drawing of May. The next day, Danny attends school in Jakob's place when Jakob isn't there. When he asks Lauren why she is approaching him after class, she responds that her father has spotted Danny in the barn, looking concerned. However, Danny, who is actually Jakob, terminates the call by stating that he must be well and is likely nearby somewhere. Danny sees May later that day and offers her Jakob's drawing of her. Danny searches for Jakob in the woods while feeling guilty. Guilty. He then arrives at the location of the sea mine, and after gazing at it for a little while, he quickly departs while pleading for assistance. After that, Danny visits a room at the hospital where Jakob is laying asleep in his body. Additionally, he discovers his parents in the space caring for the boy they think is their son. When Ed attempts to ask him what happened to his son, he struggles to speak and only offers rambling answers. He simply expresses his regret for everything that has transpired before departing. As they leave the room, Lauren cries and hugs him while expressing concern for Danny. Lauren is unaware that Jakob is in fact resting in the hospital bed. Danny goes to the jungle later that evening to find the sea mine shattered and being destroyed for scrap metal. The possibility of him and Danny swapping back is now non-existent. Danny returns to his previous home out of helplessness and enters through a window as he is missing his keys. He goes to his room after that and starts playing his guitar carelessly. Later, when he leaves the house after getting his tarantula's terrarium, he notices his younger sister watching TV in the living room. Danny sets down the terrarium and uses sign language to reassure the young girl that her older brother is still alive. 
He grabs the terrarium and walks away while his sister just stands there and stares at him. Danny enjoys supper with Jacob's family at his home. Loretta suddenly inquires about his post-graduation plans. Danny responds that Jacob's grades are not fantastic, but Jacob's mother interrupts him and claims that they are excellent. That is, of course, because Loretta believes she is speaking to her son. Danny promptly informs them that he considers working at the Loop after discovering that, which pleases Jacob's parents. In addition, George tells him that he can still draw, but the youngster declines and claims he no longer enjoys drawing, which causes Loretta to gently giggle. Loretta then affirms that he is making the correct decision, and George emphasizes that Russ will be overjoyed. When Loretta inquires as to why the three stop talking, Danny replies that he misses his pal. Danny brings his pet tarantula into Jacob's room after supper and enters there. He gets up in an attempt to fall asleep and peers out the window. He takes a flashlight outdoors when he hears a metallic squeaking. He finds the source of the creaking sound to be a two-legged robot as he directs the torch in its way. The robot stops moving when Danny names it Jacob, and after a brief delay, it glances down. The object then begins to move away from Danny, leaving him alone himself in in front of Jacob's home. This is how our movie ends. Tell us in the comments how you felt about this movie recap. See you in the following movie recap.